I am so glad you're here for another episode of Mechanism Monday, where every Monday we write out the electron pushing arrow mechanisms for different organic reactions. In last week's video, I asked if you could solve the mechanism for this organic reaction. So if you haven't had a chance, pause the video now and try it independently. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll give you another mechanism to solve for next week's video. This is a really cool reaction in which we're turning n acylphenylalanine into what's known as an azolactone. Also known as an oxazolone, this is a type of heterocyclic organic compound derived from amino acids that is highly versatile in organic synthesis due to its reactive sites. They're used as key intermediates to create various chemical structures, including amino acid derivatives, and are also used to functionalize polymers and to create reactive platforms for applications like coatings, adhesives, and bioconjugation. And one of the key things to understand in this mechanism is going to be to notice that one of the reactants is this acetic anhydride. An anhydride is actually a carboxylic acid derivative where you have a carbon to oxygen double bond and that carbon is also bound to another heteroatom in the form of this oxygen. And therefore this makes it a carboxylic acid derivative. And what's notable about this is that it's actually pretty similar reactivity wise to acid chlorides, where acid chlorides are incredibly reactive due to the nature of this leaving group chloride. Similarly, there is a leaving group as a part of this anhydride that is key to the reactivity in this mechanism because effectively this acetate portion of this acetic anhydride can be thought of as a great leaving group. And you'll see this come into play in two different steps in our mechanism. The first step of which is actually the deprotonation of this carboxylic acid, where you generate a carboxylate at this position. And that's actually gonna allow us to attack the acetic anhydride because now we've generated a nucleophilic site at this carboxylate position. So what will happen is these electrons will come over, attack this carbonyl position, which will kick up these pi electrons, allowing us to do a nucleophilic acyl substitute substitution reaction, where in the next step, those electrons that we kicked up previously will come back down to reform our carbonyl carbon and also kick off the good leaving group in the form of acetate. This also regenerates another anhydride functional group on our molecule. And from here, the nitrogen lone pair of electrons can actually shift over allowing the pi electrons in the neighboring acyl group to attack one of the carbonyl carbons that were a part of our anhydride functional group. Again, this kicks up the pi electrons to the oxygen, allowing those electrons to later come back down and kick off acetate as a leaving group again. And that actually generates this reactive intermediate. And notice that this is effectively an iminium ion that's a part of that closed ring that we just generated. And remember, the leaving group in that reaction or that intermediate step was the formation of an acetate anion, which is going to be used to act as a base that can come and deprotonate this proton, allowing us to generate our final product, or this azelactone, also known as an oxazolone. So to recap, our n acylphenylalanine can be deprotonated by a base, allowing this carboxylate to be used as a nucleophile, which will attack acetic anhydride. Once these pi electrons come back down, it kicks off acetate as a leaving group, allowing the nitrogen lone pair of electrons to shift over, allowing the pi electrons to act as a nucleophile for our next anhydride functional group. Again, those pi electrons come back down, kicking off acetate, which is then used to deprotonate that aminium ion, allowing us to generate our final product known as an azlactone. If you enjoyed this week's mechanism, give it a thumbs up down below. And for next week, I'd love to see if you could figure out the electron pushing arrow mechanism for this organic reaction. And make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you never miss out on another Mechanism Monday. I'll see you next week.